good morning children today our topic is flight adaptation in birds here this uh, question it comes for the 15 marks and here first of all introduction the birds are warm blooded are endothermic vertebrates adapted for flight they have short body with the compact bones majority of the organs and large muscles are placed near the center of the gravity that means their muscles and major organs are present just behind the wings to enable better balance during flight here there are two types of adaptations are present number one is a morphological adaptation number two is the anatomical adaptation First of all, number one is the morphological adaptation. Here there are six points are there. Number one is the body contour. The uh, bird's uh, body shape is a spindle shaped or streamlined to enable the birds to fly easily through the air with a minimum resistance. And the next point is mobile neck and head. Here the long and the flexible neck is present due to the pressure of a single occipital condyle. Here it is the occipital condyle is the empty space. Enables easy rotation of the head to catch the prey also they can as well as uh, move or L around the jaws are produced into a beak the beak is useful for uh, picking food and uh, preening the next building also the next third point is the forelimbs the wings are modified forelimbs they act as a powerful propelling organs during flight. The wings are provided with elongated flight feathers known as the remiges, which increases the surface area of the wings during the flight. And fourth point is the hind limbs. The hind limbs are serves as the locomotive organs. The type of the locomotion is known as a bipedal locomotion. They are positioned, means they present towards the anterior end in the order to support the body weight. The hind limbs are also covered by scales and the digits end with the claws they help the birds in perching on the trees and the fifth point is the exoskeleton the body of all birds is covered by the various types of feathers the quill feathers they are also known as the counter feathers are placed closely together and are directed in the bug direction to make the body streamlined shape it helps to prevent the heat loss from the body surface and maintain a constant body temperature and the last point is the tail the short tail is present with the long tail feathers known as the rectrices which can stretch sideways the tail can be used like a rudder for turning and balancing during flying and perching and a second type of adaptation is known as the anatomical adaptation the following uh, points are there number one is the flight muscles here the different types of muscles are concerned with the flight they are pectoralis major it is a large triangular muscles that forms the main part present in the breast region. The contraction of these muscles lowers the wings during the flight. Are all, these muscles are also called as the depressor muscles. And come to the second type of muscles are known as the pectoralis minor. Pectoralis minor is smaller but longer than the pectoralis major. The contraction of these muscles raises the wings during flight and the coracobrachialis muscles help in rotating the wings and others uh, so many muscles are there such as the tensor muscles, biceps, triceps, extension carpal tunnels, extension carpal lunaris, brachioradialis, digital analysis. These other muscles also help in flight. The flexor and extensor muscles help in poaching mechanism in birds. The flight muscles are actually red in color due to the presence of the many fibers containing the oxygen carrying compounds, oxygen and the cytochrome. And the next point is the endoskeleton. Here the important features of the endoskeleton in birds are mentioned below. Number one is the skull. Here the skull is a thin and paper like skull skull bones are fused to form a capsule of bones and next one presence of the single occipital and empty space and the jaws are produced into beak and the teeth are absent to reduce the weight and next one birds have a keel a special bone on the stern uh, sternum it is the main site for the attachment of the flight muscles and the next one is the vertebrae here a, a special type of vertebrae are present in the vertebral column of birds here uh, to all the vertebrates are fused with one another so it supports the weight of the body. The heterocellus vertebrae having a shape saddle shape offer the most flexible vertebral joints 
particularly for the movement of the neck and then next come to the synacrium the last thoracic vertebrae lumbar vertebrae sacral vertebrae and five caudal vertebrae so these are types of vertebrae fuse to form a one bone known as a synchrome which supports the body when the bird is walking on the ground and next one is the caudal vertebra reduces so it, the, it is form a special structure known as the pegostyle which supports the tail feathers and don't write these points and next the third one is the digestive system the digestive system in birds is extremely efficient in absorbing energy from small amounts of food at a rapid rate here the food is a small amount but energy is a very large amount of energy they will get they feed on seeds fruits and other vegetable matters the storage sac known as a crop macrates the food before it passes to the two chamber stomach that means in the crop the food is crushed some birds swallow stones to help in grinding the food in the gizzard that's why the gizzard is known as a crop machine or grinding machine prankers is a slow more well developed to compensate for the lack of saliva here there is saliva is not released in the birds that's why the pancreas is helps to uh, produce such type of uh, it secretes the enzymes for digesting the carbohydrates proteins and fats the absence of the gallbladder and the reduces the rectum minimizes the body weight okay next one is a respiratory system the efficient respiratory system consists of a pair of lungs these lungs are connected with the air sacs and these air sacs again enter extends into the cavities of the hollow bones they have more efficient system of gas exchange of both oxygen and co2 and a special structure known as a syrinx is well developed with this special structure the birds can sing and next circulatory system here the birds heart is large powerful that means the four chamber heart is present with complete separation of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood the red blood cells have high hb content for rapid and efficient oxygenation next the body temperature the mean level of body temperature for all birds is generally high due to the higher metabolism this enables the birds to fly at high altitudes and remain active in every season an ex excretory system the carpodium the, this is the anterior part of the cloaca and the urinary tubes are efficient in water reabsorption and next one urinary bladder is absent to decrease the body weight and the, they convert the ammonia and other nitrogenous waste into the uric acid uric acid mixes with the fecal matter from the digestive system to produce a semi solid waste material known as waste material uh, this is a, uh, a familiar character present in the birds next one brain and nervous system birds have a large and a complex brains with a large cerebrum cerebellum these are the parts present in the brain that controls the instinct behavior patterns and the precision of their skills most of the birds have large eyes and highly developed vision they can detect the direction distance size the shape color brightness that means the 3d depth from great distance some of them have acute sense of hearing also but the sense of smell is barely developed the last point is reproductive organs here the reproductive organs test is over is ovidus are very small in size and uh, most of the year they enlarge only during the breeding season but whereas in the females only one ovary is present so that the body weight is reduces which is essential it is important for the flight these are the adaptations present in the birds thank you